So the second method of tuning that we often recommend is using a clip-on tuner. Uh, these tuners are available at most music stores, including the AMP uh, music store as well. Um, what we want to do with these here is we start by powering them on using the power button. You should see some lights and uh, letters, numbers appear on your screen. That's going to let you know that your clip-on tuner is powered on. At this point, we want to attach the clip-on tuner to the headstock of the guitar. When we go to play a note, in this case, we're going to start by playing the low E6 string. So in this case, it's showing D sharp. We want this note to be in E. So we're going to take our tuning peg, turn it to the left to raise the pitch of the string. You should be able to hear it change in pitch. And there you have it. We know that it's in tune because we have two blue bars showing up on either side of the note that we're trying to tune. So in this case, E, we have two blue bars showing up on either side of the E. So moving forward, uh, going to the fifth string, same thing. Right now we're tuned to a G sharp, we want to be tuned to an A. We're going to take our tuning peg, turn it to the left, you can hear the note getting higher, and once again we have two blue bars on either side of the note that is appearing on our clip-on tuner. So I'm going to quickly finish up these ones for you. C sharp, we're going to be tuning to a D. Once again, watching for those two blue bars on either side of the note that is appearing on our clip-on tuner. So once again, you might find that you have to go back and have to retune the, the strings a little bit. So let's just recheck those. There's our low E. There's our fifth string A. Fourth string D. Third string G. 2nd string B, and 1st string E. And there you have it, that's tuning with the clip-on tuner.